It's been a very full morning, and I have an apology to share with you, which is partly why I've allowed the sessions to run the way I have. Imad, unfortunately, can't join us to talk about Stability AI, but we do have Tom Mason, Stability's CTO, who's going to join me for a briefer session on the stage before we go to the wrap-up, and we will have you out of here just after 11 o'clock. So this will be a very brief chat between Tom and I. Tom, would you like to come and join me? Thanks. So in preparing to talk to Imad, I was thinking about his background and how we ended up with him creating uh, an AI or being one of the co-creators like Stable Diffusion here in the UK. So can you tell me a bit about how we got into this, how this happened? I know there's a bunch of co-founders and the structuring is a little different. Can you maybe explain that for me? Uh, it's, it's got the most incredible story behind it, actually. And, and I was very lucky to kind of come through that in a kind of organic way. Open source, you know, is, is the, the journey that I went on to discover stability. It's the journey that I went on to discover generative AI. Um, and, you know, what I've witnessed over the last 18 months, and maybe longer actually, maybe 24 months, um, has truly been incredible. It's been, it's been powered by open source. Um, I, I was working in a software company, a CTO. I discovered um, a group of researchers that were working on um, image models, text image models. And um, I, I tell this story quite a lot because it's kind of become apparent to me that this is actually how much innovation is happening in the industry, um, especially in generative AI. So a lot, of, a lot of researchers and groups of ML engineers and, and, and developers co you know, um, coalesce around GitHub repositories. Mm -hmm. And they check their code into GitHub repositories, but actually um, they communicate through uh, forums like Discord. Yeah. Discord is an incredible platform um, of, of communication innovation. I could name many, many groups that are maybe 50,000, 60,000 strong. Lion, Eleuther, Disco Diffusion. Deform. And I'm going to say Eleuther are downstairs in the DX room. If anybody hasn't met Eleuther AI, they've got a representative. Eleuther is incredible. incredible. Eleuther um, you know, developed many of the uh, prior models to GPT-3, GPT-2. Mm -hmm. They built things like GPT Neo, GPT Neo X. Um, those architectures became the foundation for LLMs. At least there's now maybe 60, 70,000 people, I think maybe more now. Um, and they are basically these groups of the servers segmented into channels. And the channels are relating to a particular project that's going on amongst a group of people, normally five to 15 or 20 researchers and ML engineers that are working together, passionate, like-minded individuals that are sharing a goal to do something new with this incredible technology. Um, so, they, so they communicate on Discord because it has a voice chat system and they can talk to each other and they can work together in real time. And that is how I discovered generative AI. I discovered a group of researchers that were working on clip guided diffusion. Mm -hmm which became the foundation for latent diffusion, which became the foundation for stable diffusion. Right. And all of the original developers and researchers were there working together. And that group, who were they? So there was a group called Combiz, yeah. um, based out of the University of Munich, University of Heidelberg, um, a bunch of other people that were working on tooling. Um, and uh, actually, interestingly, um, I think the last, one of the last big models that OpenAI uh, open sourced was Clip. And Clip um, basically is a, a model that, uh, that, 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 that um, captions images and into text. And they released it in 2019. Mm -hmm. Data source unknown. No one knows to this day what data source it was, it was used to create it. But it is still used to train um, image models all over the world, including, including ours. We, we, we actually um, sponsored, we sponsored Lion and, and other groups with Compute. Lion has trained its own version of Clip called Open Clip. But the original Clip that, mm -hmm. that OpenAI released um, enabled people to uh, not caption images, but put it in reverse. And they right. used that to, to create the foundations of Clip Guided Diffusion, mm -hmm. which became Latent Diffusion and Stable Diffusion, which became the image models that we know now. So image models, video models, these are all based on you know, the seeds of innovation that happened in these open groups. 
ironically, OpenAI, you know, when they gave Clip to that to that group, uh, you know, contributed to that to that thing, and then they and then they they kind of closed themselves off, which was yeah. a, a great shame. But um, you know, that wave of innovation has continued, and it's it's incredible um, to witness firsthand. You know, I am absolutely convinced that this is um, the way that technology innovation should be done. I think it's something. And what do you mean by that? That open and collaborative. From from every aspect that I, th I think is probably being discussed today. I mean, this is what this conference is about, right? Yeah. It's about what happens when people come together mm -hmm. to share, you know, a singular goal. You know, when you match research with, you know, engineering with product, you get people together. And I can tell you absolutely 100% that every VC, every private equity company working in generative AI is looking at these forums. So I'm going to take you totally off piece, Dean. If you don't go, want to answer, yeah, go it's for it. fine. One of the things that I've seen that we're not great at in the UK is that stuff that you were talking about, that product development. And you know, you've built a UK company around this with stability. How are you managing that? Because that's tough, right? We're not good at that. Uh, go the, to market. The, the, the most, well, I, don't, I mean, I don't know about that. I mean, we've, you know, we've got an incredibly strong technology community. Um, we hire many ML engineers and researchers in the UK, obviously abroad as well. But Europe is, is yeah. a strong, I mean, people think it's all in the Bay Area. Our, our best research teams are in Germany and you know, other, other countries. Um, what about the UK? Yeah, and the, and, yeah, no, no, and, and, and the UK, and the UK, um, and, and Germany's fine too. But but, but if what's interesting right now is that you know we've had this um, this year of um, the emergence of the models, you know, which has been this kind of realization by the the broader community that there is something happening here which is transformational yeah. in terms of neural networks, and there's been this influx of funding and this influx of, of interest. Um, but this is the year of productization. So what is happening now is that people are looking at sector use cases. They're looking at how do we get value creation from mm -hmm. these models and turn them into products. And, and I mean, stability is about creating that foundation. It's about it's about the research of the models and democratizing access to the models, making them open, yeah. making sure that all these companies that want to flourish can do that using using this technology because it's open. And I and the thing that the kind of the icing on the cake, or the, maybe something that helps the process of realization around why open source is so important, is that to make these models usable in industry, okay, you have to have control, you, you have to have um, flexibility of, of control of the models, of yeah. the, you have to be able to build on top of them, and that's a lot more than just running them and inferencing them. So every big technology that I can think of that's being used to actually make these models usable in industry, mm -hmm. fine tuning, uh, control nets, lang you know, retrieval of augmented generation, all of these things have been developed by open source community members. Mm -hmm. okay? It's incredible when you think about it. You know, I mean, the, the neural net architecture is something that's been developed, you know, for the last 50 years and slowly has like percolated through the industry until finally we had the compute to make them usable. But, but all of the techniques that make them usable in, in industry are being developed by open source groups. And, and that's incredible because, you know, it's just, it shows you where the innovation is happening. Right. So VCs, you know, private equity, government, you know, if, if people want to get involved in the industry and get involved in the technology, they should go and find these groups of people that are working in open source environments groups, you know, working together because that's where the innovation is really happening. Yeah. You're preaching to the converted <laughs> talking to me here and I have to say I've been quite pleased with the, the things that I've heard in the conversation from the policy people and government this morning. Tell me though, you're building Stability AI as a company here, not just the technology, but you're building a business. You're a unicorn, right? Am I right in saying that you're a unicorn? Yeah, I, yeah, I think I think yeah. By the by the definition, we raised obviously we raised um, a big amount last uh, in September 22. Yeah, uh, and that's kind of fueled you know the the continuation of the mission last year, which is basically to to, to create a model in every modality, and to make it open. So you know there are six modalities in generative AI: image, audio, video, language, 3D, and code. Um, and maybe there'll be some other ones that emerge around neuroscience, which will be really interesting. But right now, those are the six. And we released uh, video in 3D in December, which were our kind of final modalities. And we just released another update to the video model, um, you know, uh, actually on Friday. 
Um, so we've, we've continued to kind of push that. Um, and yeah. I could talk to yeah. you for a long time, but yeah. I, I, have an, uh, I a lot, don't have a, a watch or a clock or anything that I can see. So <laughs> you and I could be here longer than we're meant to be. But I know that I've got to wrap it and take the conversation back to the, the group and the, the whole conference. If I was to say to you, what have we not asked people? Because I, I think this has been a really good morning, right? I'm really pleased with the content I've heard. What have I not discussed with people? What have we not shared with the audience that they should know? That, and it's a hard question, but what, mm. what's missing from this conversation today so far? Look, I, look, I mean, if, I'm, if I look around, you know, I, mean, I go to a lot of events, yeah. I speak a lot of events, I speak to a lot of companies that are looking to us for answers. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and everyone is looking for answers, right? Yeah. This is a technology which is just, just, just changing perspectives on, on how, we, how we create, how we communicate. I, I think you know, it is up to industry and to the community to, to create the answers through innovation around product this year. Yeah. That's what this year is about. Yeah. You know, we, don't, we don't want AI to be a bubble. We want, it, we want it to be the thing that all of us hope it can be, mm -hmm. which is a transformational and augmenting technology that improves you know, human creativity, it improves human lives. We, we all want that. Um, but the reality is for that to be done, we have to do it um, in a way that it creates value. Right. We have to do it in a way that it's safe and all the things that we talked about. Mm -hmm. People need to trust it. You know, I mean, there's, there's simple things like um, this, this concept of agency. Um, you know, agency is the idea that you're in control, okay? And, and if, you, if control in a human user interface seeps away from you and it moves to the machine, People get incredibly uncomfortable, you know. So we need to design the inter the interaction uh, pathways with AI in a way that people are still in control, mm -hmm. that they know they have agency over the AI, and this is this is all these like subtle things are important to designing successful products that work um, in the industry. So I hope that you know by the end of this year that that we have contributed to the success of AI, not not to a situation where there's further, you know, concern or, you know, yeah. mistrust. And so, yeah, so I, I think it's about creating successful products. Yeah. I, I encourage anyone, you know, that wants to, um, wants to be part of that journey just to get involved in, in the communities, you know, to get involved in these groups. I mean, you can literally go onto Discord, find, find a group, go, go to Lion, Lion or Eleuther, and, you know, choose a channel that interests you. And there are ones, I mean, we, we, we came about through the coalescing of six or seven of those yeah. groups. And I encourage everyone to go and to go onto Discord and to interact with people in that, in those spaces, because it's an incredible thing to be yeah. part of that journey. And I think I absolutely agree with this. So last year was very much a year of AI panic, and I think this year is going to be about pragmatism. Absolutely. And you know, embedding everything that everyone was running around worrying about last year into practical, into products. Yeah. into looking at how the regulation is really going to work. Absolutely. Tom, I really appreciate you stepping in last minute. Um, no worries. Are you going to be around for the rest of the day? Yes. yes. You are. So I will remind everybody that Eleuther AI is in the DX room in the very back, uh, far away corner opposite where you come in from the door. And Stability AI's table is next to that. So I'm sure Tom will be around there if you want to chat with them and ask more of the questions that I've not had time for. Tom, thank you for thank stepping you. in. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you.